Hello everyone. I have now repeatedly felt the need for a better way to showcase my prints. And what, what could be a better way to solve it than through more 3D printing? I checked my scrap pins and I already had this geared motor lying around. Originally I was going to use this for a mini lathe power feed, but I guess I'll have to get more of these motors. Anyway, this is just a simple DC motor with some insane gear ratio, so the output shaft delivers around 25 RPM. Taking a look inside and it seems fairly decent, nothing looks uh, obviously budget about it. I'm a bit unsure about what kind of rotation speed I'm looking for, so we'll see if this is good or not. This might be a good time to mention that the entire project is just gonna use leftovers and scraps. I started off by designing a plate with some numbers I just came up with. It's around uh, 18 centimeters in diameter to make it easy to print in one whole piece. I ended up making the top thinner and reinforcing it with some walls to save on material and printing time compared to making the entire thing thicker. Not to mention it just looks cooler with some more details. Next step is of course making some kind of base for this, as I can't just have the motor lying on its back. This is what I came up with after looking for more scrap switches and battery holders to see what I had to work with. It's a pretty simple design, just meant to provide some stability and cover up the void underneath. It also gives a place to mount the on-off switch, motor and battery. I ended up printing this one on one of the review machines from Gearbest as it was already loaded and ready to go. The motor mount comes in a separate piece and I was hoping a friction fit would be enough to hold the motor in. And most of the time it works pretty good but if I were to redo this I would either use screws or hooks to keep it in place. Especially if you want to remove the spinning table, you tend to take the motor out as well, which wasn't my intention. Time for a quick wire up to see how it runs. Trust me, I'm aware that this is some really quick and dirty soldering. Since I have no idea how 25 RPM is gonna look, I'm just gonna hook it up straight to the battery and test it out. The wiring is pretty straightforward. Positive from the battery to the switch, from the switch to the motor, and from the motor to the negative on the battery. Okay, let's see how good or bad of an idea this was. Yeah, that's way too fast for what I'm looking for. This motor is meant for 12 volts, which is what I'm currently running it at. But let's see what we can do by removing some batteries from the pack. After some tinkering with this, I ended up with just 3 volts, 2 AA batteries to get the speed I'm looking for. Beside the table being slightly crooked, I'm super satisfied with this. A modified table was designed with a bit more meat around a motor shaft and slower print speed to keep everything accurate this time. Well there you go, the power of 3D print prototyping. This entire project took me just a few hours of active work from CAD to finished prototype. Thanks for watching, feel free to drop a comment, thumbs up or subscribe if you wish to see more of my content and help my channel grow.